right, guys, I'm putting in my uh, two inch drop spindles from McGoffey's and my uh, half ton 94 Silverado. It's a long bed. Doesn't make any difference on this stuff. I got my uh, McGoffey's two inch drop spindle in. Got ball joints in tight, tie rod in tight. I pulled the uh, bolt out right here for the uh, upper control arm to see if the uh, if the uh, uh, what you might call it the blanks have been knocked out for the uh, alignment purposes. The factory leaves it and it's perforated, and you have to knock out the piece in there so that it allows the uh, the uh, arm to move in and out to adjust camber fully. And uh, mine has already been knocked out. So I just put my washer nut back on. I'll be tightening it back up when I get this on the ground and see how it looks right. I'm just gonna go by eyeball on mine and tighten it down. And then when I take it to the alignment shop, they can take care of the rest of it. And that's where I'm at. Just put my backing plate on and got my caliper pressed in. Bushings are good on mine, so I'm good to go there. New pads on, these are Duralast. This is a simple AutoZone project, AutoZone uh, rotors. That's all Duralast gold, good stuff. You uh, get your bearings, just make sure you put them in here and check. Make sure they're the right ones for that race that's already installed in the rotors. You ain't gotta put the races in when you're changing the rotors, so that's great. But yeah, I'm all good to go, and I'm going back together now. Alrighty. righty.